Nine months ago, Sean from the Chili Chump challenged me to a chili grow off, and I happily accepted that challenge. Well, how did I do? Well, you're gonna find out right in a moment. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is UK Year We Grow and on this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If you want that perfect garden to relax in or just want to grow your own nutrient dense food then start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified each time I release new content just like this. So as I said nine months ago Sean challenged me to this grow off and to make it fair I sent Sean some chilli seeds. They were poblano and some spaghetti and we decided to run two grow off competitions. Now I was plagued with issues with germination and in fact Sean had plants nearly a foot high before I'd even got mine germinated. I don't know why and I believe Sean had some issues with germination with his spaghetti seed. I think the seed must have uh, not been viable or, or whatever but, um, but we had major issues on the germination. And if you've watched my channel for any sort of time, you'll know that this year I've had loads of personal issues. That's life and it is what it is. I, you know, I can't use it as an excuse. Um, if Sean beats me, which is very likely, then he totally deserves it. He's a fantastic grower and he certainly knows his chips when it comes to chilies, guys. You, he is fantastic at it. His polytunnel and his greenhouse were rammed this year with chilies. If you look at mine, in the summer I had eight weeks where I couldn't even come to the plots and my tunnel went like a jungle as some of you will have seen. Now this had a couple of issues for my chilies. The canopy that this created actually stopped the, the light getting to any of the chilies. And also I had birds flying around in there which were using it as a way of getting out of the sun and they obviously were stopping the insects from pollinating so I had a few issues there as well. But that's just all excuses guys, it is what it is and we're going to get across now and have a look at the chilies. I did actually manage to get some germinated and I did manage to get a couple of fruit. So let's go and see what we got. So as you can see these chilli plants were really tall, um, they were very lanky and they were stretching for the light so because of that they really really struggled. There are a few fruits, now this is one of the spaghetti and I have one ripe fruit on here, there's a couple of green ones and it's all curled up, it's not even straight because I haven't been your feeding and everything else. We did use the auto pot system, but that ran out of water some time ago and I never put any proper feeds into it or anything. So, um, like I said, it is what it is, but we've got a fruit. So we did manage to germinate a chili uh, for the spaghetti. We're now gonna cut this one and we will measure at the end. So this one actually counts, that's my longest spaghetti and I have to say it's absolutely pathetic it would be longer if it was straight but we will straighten out as much as we can when we measure and we'll see how long that is let's go and have a look at the poblano so again this plant doesn't look too bad really it's got a few spaghetti over here the green ones you can see look they've obviously stretched over from that plant but um, we've got the poblano just under here it's not very big. Uh, I'm not sure which one is my biggest. So I'm going to cut them both. So we've got that one there. And they're not even turned colour. And we've got that one there. And they're not very heavy, guys. So um, we're going to weigh these. And we're going to see which one is the heaviest. I think it's probably going to be this one but we'll see how we go. I have got some on the other plant over there, but this, this plant here didn't come to a lot. And again, you can see just from the thickness of the, the stalks here, they, they didn't really do much. They were just too busy stretching for light. I might even cut these back this year, I don't know, but likely it is no, because they were weak plants in the first place. And I think I'll probably get some new seed for next year, but hopefully next year I won't have the personal issues I've had this year. But it is what it is. These are what we got, and we will see what weight they are now. We're gonna go over to the scales and have a look there. 
okay so we've zeroed out the scales we're going to try this one first and that's showing at 120 grams and now this one and that's showing at 140 grams so this is obviously the heaviest one and the one that's going for um, towards our chili challenge now let's get the um, I'll put that one there in the corner and we'll go and get the red spaghetti pepper and we'll measure that and for the record this one weighs 15 grams um, but I'm going to see just how long it is I'm gonna take it to the top here not the length of the green that I've done and there we have it just over 11 inches I could pull it a little bit more and make 11 and a half but I'm not gonna risk breaking it so we count that as 11 inches guys so we have 140 gram pepper and an 11 inch long um, spaghetti chili so that's what Sean's got to beat. Well guys, that was a surprise to me. I never thought they were that heavy. Um, I'm lucky in that we got the spaghettis to germinate. I don't think Sean got one to germinate, so we, we will be lucky there. But also, um, I think, I mean, you can see how long and spindly these things are. They, you know they 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 haven't done well at all and the fact that they only had two fruits on that plant which were the two that we've just weighed may be the reason why they were so heavy i think that because of the canopy the plant didn't have enough fruit on it to share out any sort of feed it was getting and everything it did have it was putting into those two fruits so i think they've obviously um built up quite thick walls i mean the skin feels quite tough on them so um but like i said you know it is what it is so that's my theory behind these the auto pot system i really like um but although it is something that will automatically water your chilies then you know i think you still need to be here to be able to change that feed initially i put a feed in these that was going to give them a lot of um foliage growth and not so much fruiting growth and because I wasn't here in that eight weeks I didn't change that feed over and that's I think had a detriment to all of this and why we've got such long leggy growth I mean look at this look at it it's really long it's like a grapevine so I think that is why the plant did what it did and again right across the top of the canopy was just all foliage there was no light getting through and that might be another reason why. Um, so that might be a lesson to you if you want a heavy chili, then put in, you know, uh, lots of shade and stuff. I don't know. Um, if I had been your feeding anything, they could have been much, much better. Um, 140 grams for the poblano and 11 inches for the spaghetti is it enough to beat sean i don't know and this is where you guys now need to get across to sean's channel and check out what he has because i don't know the results either we're both going to find out for the first time now whoever wins is going to be giving away the, the loser is going to be giving away amazon vouchers as discussed in the first uh, video and we'll do that in a later video but to be in with a chance to win those Amazon vouchers you need to make sure you comment on this video and on Sean's video it's no good commenting on one you won't be included in the draw okay and it's a, a free draw all you need to do is leave a comment and we'd really appreciate a, a thumbs up a like as well Anyway, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got value from this video, then you can subscribe here. And when you've done that, you can continue watching one of these videos here. But make sure you get across to Sean's channel. I'm Tony O'Neill. This is UK Year We Grow. And remember, folks, you reap what you sow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.